My name is Lotta Granholm Bentley. I'm a professor in biology and I'm also the executive director for the Nobel Institute for Healthy Aging at DU. We call it KIHA for short. We are in the top of the engineering building with facilitate and promote collaboration with engineers. I think it's quite unique for a center on aging to be located in an engineering building because we can focus on prevention. There is a lot of bouncing of ideas, you know, when we meet in the hallways and so that's why I like a lot about Akiha. Everybody can talk to, you know, like there is no like, oh, you're the boss and um, yeah, there is nothing about that. <laughs> Every research group here, all the 10 people that are gathered at, at the Nobel Institute, they are ahead in their field. My lab in particular is looking at different um, metabolites as a biomarker and we're doing progression of the different neurological conditions, well, in particular Parkinson's and Alzheimer's disease and now most recently ALS. We can uh, develop algorithms with engineers that actually allow us to do prediction in the condition but also early diagnosis. I've been working on the biology of aging since 1974. I got one of the first grants that the National Institute on Aging ever gave out to do this work. And the work that we did that was funded by that grant led us to the hypothesis that people with Down syndrome age prematurely. About 80% of them will develop dementia of the Alzheimer's type by the time they're 60. And since the life expectancy of people with Down syndrome is going up and up, they represent, therefore, the largest genetically defined population that we know is at risk for Alzheimer's disease in the world. What I decided to do early on is to link with other researchers, and now we have 10 different sites that are focused on bringing in brain tissue samples and bringing in blood samples from people with Down syndrome of different ages. And so it's a unique opportunity to see what happens when they're 10, when they're 20, when they're 40. What are the things that are preceding their dementia symptoms? In this institute, we have expertise both from chemistry perspective as well as from biology perspective. So we have a really a good critical mass to pursue uh, that kind of research. We have uh, several different studies ongoing and several collaborations with uh, neurologists as well as neurosurgeons looking at Alzheimer's, looking at uh, concussion, as well as looking at Parkinson's disease. And so those kind of clinical collaborations are great because then we can actually do translational science. So things that we find in the lab that maybe work in cell culture models or mouse models can then progress to the clinic. I collaborate with uh, the Nobel Institute for Healthy Aging and uh, my research is on applying machine learning and artificial intelligence as well as robotics to help people with mental disabilities such as uh, Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease. Open Gangnam Style! <laughs> uh, people with dementia oftentimes they are depressed, they are lonely and because of the shortage of caregivers in senior living facilities, we use these social robots as a companion bot. That was amazing. I'm so happy to do all this. Even though we are a research institute, we're also focused very much on outreach and on impact in society. One of the programs that I'm really uh, proud of that we did last fall was um, a collaborative project between uh, the University of Denver, so we work with a photography professor here. He brought his class of freshman students to one of our community partners, uh, Kavod Senior Life. They're an affordable uh, living community for older adults, and they created this book um, that helps develop these social support systems for, for older and younger groups as they kind of go through life together. Another exciting interdisciplinary project is the financial security project that we have. It involves both faculty and students from the law school, from business school, from social work, from psychology, and from the Nobel Institute. There's a very significant connection between financial decision making and cognitive function. That connection has essentially uh, stemmed from research that we've known about for 10, 15, even 20 years. So these early markers, subtle markers in financial decision making, can appear decades before we'd notice anything. When we started the Nobel Institute, when I came here, we changed the name from Center for Studies of Aging 
to healthy aging. And that is key for Kiha, if I may say so. We think that the interdisciplinary groups we have here are able to touch on many aspects of successful aging. And it's quite unique for, to have that breadth of, of interest and to have these kind of unique research groups who can touch of, on all of these different aspects of aging. So I really think we will make an impact in society.